I want to start a new series all about the DQMH of a Delacour Cute Message Handler. Now the reason why I want to start talking about the DQMH is because I've been using it quite heavily at work because I have a project which doesn't necessarily have to use large scale object oriented programming. Instead I want to be able to create a project where I can easily add in plugins, I can distribute with other developers, I could perhaps hire a new developer in the future and get them up and running and contributing to the software which I'm architecting in a very straightforward manner. Now as much as I love Active Framework it isn't the most intuitive for a new starter to get up and running with. So in this tutorial series I want to introduce the Delacour Qt message handler and show you some really key benefits to help us out along the way, I've created a very simple vending machine, which I'll run for you now. Which you can see is very straightforward, where you can enter some money, so there's 20 pounds here, select a few items, and then get our change, and then close. And although very straightforward, it's not the complexity I'm concerned about in this tutorial series, it's about how we're structuring our code. I've decided to split up this vending machine into five different modules. You could think of them as actors, if you like. Where well, we have a model module, and this is just the glue that holds all of these messages and modules together. We have stock items, the display item, the keypad item, and the money module. And because it's so modular, let's say instead of having a simple money uh, input here where you can enter £20 or £50, I could swap this out for a card machine. Another thing that's really cool is that that main user interface that you saw was actually made up of several other user interfaces. You can actually see four sub panels on the screen here. Those four sub panels are the front panels of the other modules. For example, this one would sit around here. There's also a folder called testers here. So each of these modules, so there are five in total, has its own tester. Let's open up one of these testers. Uh, for example, keypad is quite a nice one. Inside this tester, I can run it start the module and show the front panel, and you can see that it appears here. And I can test to make sure that this front panel works as intended. If I click various items, I get a pop-up box to say that a message was sent and I'm receiving it okay. I could stop that module. Let's say I want to change the number of items in that module. So I add an item called Tom's Love Your Adventure. I start the module again, Show module, you can see that TLA, Tom's Live View Adventure, has been listed. I can stop the module. And I have one of these testers for all of the other modules. So let's go with money. You can open this, start the module, show module front panel, and I can enter money here. And notice it's been updated below. Another key thing I want to point out, with the QMH, I'm able to run this tester independently of the other modules. So notice how there's a little key, uh, lock here under money, but none of the others. In fact, why don't we try and run this module, see what happens. So because it's a sub panel and the front panel of the module is already open, we can't see it here, but notice how it's still able to interact. Huh. And I have a vending machine with 160 pounds of credit, so I can buy lots of nice things and get a refund. Notice how that refund was deposited both to my tester, which is running, so I got 483 uh, pence there, and it was displayed on the front panel here. So multiple things can access multiple modules, which makes this a really powerful uh, framework and design pattern, all based off a very simple queued message handler. 
So in the upcoming tutorial series, I'm going to go through how I created this vending machine, how I structured it, and also how I make all of these uh, testers and how all the messaging works, etc. The code for this vending machine you can find on my GitLab, so in my GitHub page already. So if you're eager to find out how it works, feel free to download it. But in the upcoming tutorial series, I'll be going through everything. As always, please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you very soon for a tutorial series on how to use the DQMH. Catch you later.